The new Sennheiser HD 450 SE is another headphone from Sennheiser with too small of a cup size and while I have had a mixed experience with their very similar looking HD 4.4 UBT, this does have some changes that address those issues and we also have active noise cancellation with Sennheiser sound quality. So depending on what price you can find these at, these may actually be the best affordable ANC option so let's talk about that. You get the headphones in this really plain looking cardboard box and if this is made from recycled materials then I have to appreciate Sennheiser for this. Other than the headphones we get a carrying bag, the manual, a USB type C cable and an audio cable for using them in wired mode. The HD 450 SE are definitely a nice looking pair of headphones. Even though this is a 3 year old design, it still looks very slick and minimal and even after having this low profile design, their build quality is very good. Their thin headband feels very sturdy and even their swivel mechanism for ear cups feels well made. You can also fold them inside and keep them in the zipper bag for portability. All the controls are on the right ear cup of these headphones and you can control power, volume, playback, ANC and change tracks along with launching Alexa with a dedicated button. While these buttons work well, they are kind of too small to easily feel the difference between. The slider button can be pushed forward or back to change tracks but you have to push it inside for controlling playback and attending calls which feels kind of odd to do as there is no tactile feedback but I think that you should get used to these controls within a week. We also have a 2.5mm jack for using these in wired mode and there is a USB-C port which can only be used for charging. The HD 450 SE also has Alexa support, so with a dedicated button, you can activate Alexa and ask it to do all the Alexa things like playing music, answering all kinds of questions and even controlling your smart home. The noise cancellation on these is good. Considering their price, sound quality and features they have on offer, the ANC is actually better than what I was expecting. I compared it with my WH-1000X M2 which are slightly older Sony flagships and while the Sennheiser isn't as good as Sony, they work quite well considering that the Sony cost me 3 to 4 times more than these when I bought them. So these are definitely not going to be the ultimate noise cancelling headphones but they still do a nice job and if you want to get a good taste of active noise cancellation then these do have that on offer and it doesn't feel like an afterthought. You can of course use these in wired mode and the noise cancellation will also work in wired mode as long as they have charge in their battery. As for their sound quality, it is not a surprise but Sennheiser really has something in their headphones that is not easy to find with other headphones and even on this budget I think that this is true. These headphones can sound really amazing but you may have to use equalizer to get the best sound out of them. The good thing is that the Sennheiser app offers a very easy to use equalizer so even if you don't have a system wide equalizer you can use this and really take their sound to the next level. Out of the box their sound is still nice but their bass is boosted a bit too much and this boost also extends up to around 300hz so that makes them sound slightly muddy sometimes but this can be easily fixed with EQ. Their treble is slightly recessed which makes them easy to listen to for long periods but it does feel like they are lacking a bit of a sparkle which we can also add with EQ. With just a 2 or 3 decibel reduction in their bass and an optional 1 decibel of boost in their treble, their overall sound becomes more balanced and with the congestion removed from their lower frequencies, they sound really amazing with a very pleasant sound signature. The mids on these are very nice too, so vocals on these headphones really make you feel like you are listening to something much more expensive and their soundstage is also great for how close looking and small they look. One thing that I have to point out is that turning on ANC does seem to affect their sound very slightly because with ANC turned off, I did hear a minor improvement in their treble. It is not a significant difference and it doesn't mean that you need to keep ANC off to get a better sound but the top end on these does feel a little bit more free and open with the ANC off. Overall, with the EQ applied, I really don't think that you can get something better sounding in their price range and these headphones compete very easily with other headphones that cost more than them. We have Bluetooth 5.0 support on these headphones and they also support Aptex Audio and AAC for Apple devices. I wasn't able to activate Aptex low latency with my ROG Phone 3 but if you have a device that supports it, you may get lower latency for gaming. And this is how the microphone on these headphones sounds and it sounds like one of the best headphone mics that I have tested so this is a very good headphone to use for calls. It also activates an ambient sound mode when you are on call so you can hear yourself while talking which also helps in being able to talk more naturally. Do give this video a thumbs up if you are finding it to be helpful and you can also subscribe with bell so you don't miss out on future videos.
Coming to comfort, I have not had a great experience with the older models in this series, but this seems to be a little better than those. The comfort on the 450SE can vary for different people. The ear cups on these headphones are kind of small and even though Sennheiser considers this to be an over-ear headphone, this is kind of between an on-ear and an over-the-ear headphone. Their removable pleather ear pads have memory foam inside and the ear pads are quite soft and they feel high quality, so there aren't any issues in that area. But again, the size of the ear holes on these isn't big enough, so if you have larger ears, then this headphone may create pressure points on the parts it touches because this has moderately high clamping force. With that said, these are not as uncomfortable as their previous 4.4 OBT because this time their ear pads don't have the thick stitching that those headphones had so it doesn't hurt your ears like before and you can also swap the left and right ear pad with a 180 degree rotation to have their stitching point go on top where it will have lesser chances of touching your ears. Trying out different positions on your ears may also help with how easily you can wear them. Whether you wear glasses or not is also going to affect their comfort because without glasses, I can wear them for an hour or more, but with glasses, that is more difficult. But when I think about their competition, I think that most of the headphones in this price range either don't have big ear cups or their ear pads aren't as nice, so while I definitely think that the comfort on these headphones could be better, it is not a deal breaker. The battery life on these headphones is really great. They advertise 30 hours of battery life and I was able to get 25 hours of playback with ANC turned on, which I think is really good performance. So in conclusion, the Sennheiser HD 450SE is a really great package. Its sound is amazing, the ANC is decent, battery life is great, microphone sounds very good and they are built very well and look great. But how good of a value they offer will depend on what price you can find these at. While their MRP is 15,000 rupees, which is around 200 US dollars, they are frequently sold for around 10,000 rupees and you might also be able to find them for even lower. So at 8 or 9,000 rupees, I think that they are a really amazing value because even if they didn't have ANC, I would have considered them to be really great sounding for their price. But with addition of ANC, I think that these really become an unbeatable option which deliver really amazing sound with EQ. The only negative with these headphones is their comfort and comfort is an important point with headphones. But unless you have ears that are longer than 7cm or you wear glasses with a thick frame, I think that you should be fine with it. So I'll have my links in the video description to check these out and make sure you do keep an eye on their price because because it varies a lot. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.